To absolutely no one's surprise, Chapter 5 Season 4 absolutely slaps. After giving myself about a week to process the season's release, I can safely say that my opinion on it remains unchanged and it has still been held in an extremely high regard. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rim Rants. Today, I will give my unabridged, unedited thoughts on the season. Without further ado, let's get right into it. And this is probably the most important thing to mention. This loot pool is absolutely insane and we haven't even gotten half of the items yet. There are still the Iron Man and Black Panther mythics, the leaked Return of the Wolverine Claws, and there are Gwynpool mythics in the files, however, it is not known when these will actually be dropping into the game. I'm super excited for the future, but I want to focus on the present right now, because this chaos is very similar to last season's launch, and if you've been keeping up with my channel over the summer, then you would definitely know that I love Chapter 5 Season 3, and so far, I'm getting the same sort of feeling from Chapter 5 Season 4. Sure, the items are mostly unbalanced, and if you play your cards right, you can absolutely dominate a lobby, but that hasn't really ruined the fun for me, yet. If somebody elims me with an overpowered combo, I just load back into the game. If you're watching this and you are a competitive player, <coughs> Eli, then comment down below what you think of the meta that is currently in the game so far. I like it, but I do agree that some of it should not be in ranked. But who would have thought that the most balanced things in this season would be the boss drops? In a chapter where we've had the Striker AR, Underworld Dash Medallion, Combat AR, and Infinite Nitro, it's honestly kind of strange to see what, that the least amount of problems with a season's loot pool come from the thing that usually gets the most complaints. If anything, I'd say that these boss drops could use a buff. Doom's gauntlets are hilariously bad, and his pistol, in my opinion, doesn't really have a place in a ranked player's loadout. I suppose that is somewhat of a skill issue, however. <laughs> Mysterio's medallion is almost not worth carrying, and it should spawn decoys or something, but right now it doesn't do anything special. I don't have any complaints about Emma Frost drops. The loot pool is in a good position, and it has plenty of time to grow as the season progresses. A trend that I hope is continued from last season is mid-season map changes. These are always just super refreshing, and it makes it feel like Epic Games cares about the season, and if there is ever an important time to do that, it is definitely now. The map is good, but not great. There is so much potential that is absolutely brimming, but as of now, it remains uncapitalized on. For example, during the original Marvel season, there were dozens of small map changes around the island that made you feel like you were in a different season than the ones that came before. We even saw this last season with the new gas stations all around the map, but now we are back to having minimal map changes all confined to a certain corner of the map that rarely pulls a final zone. That is one of the things that will be on my bucket list for Chapter 6. The map changes need to be centralized and spread out more. This happened a lot in Chapter 2, and yes, I get that was for the lore reasons with the zero point and whatnot, but it gives the chapter more continuity and the seasons themselves more identity. I should never be able to take a screenshot at Grand Glacier and barely tell the difference between a picture taken three weeks ago and three months ago, and even like nine months ago at the beginning of the chapter. That isn't really a problem with the season specifically, it's a problem with the game as a whole that has been persistent for a pretty good length of time by now. So whenever it hasn't been fixed, it's worth bringing up. Something that has been fixed, and I don't really know if this is a hot take or not, is the issue of Battle Pass exclusivity. While there were many ways around this, what they ended up doing is the best course of action in my opinion. And if you don't know, Battle Passes are now no longer exclusive to their season, and cosmetics can be sold in the item shop 18 months later. Two things with this. To the people complaining about how their cosmetics are not, are not exclusive, well, they still are for about 18 months. So enjoy that while you've got it. And the other thing I would like to address is, I'm sure Epic Games is going to make these super styles exclusive to the original holders. And if they don't, that's a bit of a negative, but it's not going to make me stop buying the battle passes. If you look at it this way, it's at least a 95% discount from what it would be if you bought all the cosmetics together in the shop, and you get them 18 months early, earlier than you would otherwise. There is one more thing that I want to discuss before I leave. Potential. This season has already started off hot, but there are so many things that are coming to the game that could make it even better, and dare I say, maybe the best season of all time. Here's a list of things that are coming to the game, which I'll go through and give some added thoughts on. The aforementioned loot pool additions are coming to the game, and there are two new Marvel LTMs that we will get this season, more storyline quests including the return of Iron Man, and don't forget that Fort Nightmares has to take place during the season, so yeah, a pretty good lineup in my opinion. The weapons and mythics that are going to be added all sound amazing. It'll be fun to have even more chaos and variability to the loot pool, and quite honestly, I don't mind it at all. I'll enjoy them for the week or so they're in the game before the sweats call on every item to be nerfed into oblivion, which, no hate, I get that y'all play a completely different game, but I've said this many times before, you don't have to ruin the whole game to change something that you don't like about your little piece of it. 
Epic can Epic Games can and absolutely should split the loot pools, just like last season. I don't know why they haven't done that yet, actually. Anyways, I'm we know for sure that we will get the return of Marvel Knockout, which was an insane LTM, and I'm very disappointed that I never got the chance to play it. However, that is going to change here in a couple weeks. There's another one that has tags for being Marvel themed, but unfortunately not much else is known about it. This is a very good thing as well. I've said before that LTMs need to be more of an emphasis and a forefront to the game, and this season appears to be bringing that back. And we know we're getting Horde Rush for Fortnite Mares, which, duh, but there are some insane theories floating around the internet like Mephisto will be the main villain, or Marvel Zombies are coming to the game, and as this season appears to be following the comic storyline where Doctor Doom signs a deal with the devil in order to resurrect his mother, which is pretty cool if you ask me. I don't know if Fortnite would even consider bringing Mephisto into the game, but I'm all here for it if they do. You know that I'll be on top of coverage for any new additions, and I am the Emperor of Yapping and the King of Hot Takes, so there will always be fresh content and discussions to be had on the Rim Rants channel. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a fantastic week.